All right. Looks like we are good and live. I think that's what that says. Okay. Yes. All right. Welcome, everyone. For those tuning in on YouTube or here live in the class, uh, my name is Colin. Um, we are on week 11. And happy gaining your hour back of sunlight. So today I actually won't be losing sunlight during my class, which is great. Um, so today's week 11. It's your Monday class. So this is more of our flow class. However, um, today is not going to be super intense because next week is our 108 sun salutation series. So today and Thursday, how week 11 will work, it'll be more of a very gentle flow, gentle class to let your body um, relax on Monday and Thursday. Again, if you're doing yoga uh, on your own time as well, please keep doing that. Um, but we want to allow the body this week to rest and stretch and a little bit of strength in order to not overwork it for next week's class. So with that said, we're going to need two blocks and that's probably it. If you'd like a blanket uh, to prop yourself up off the floor, uh, please do that. Um, but we'll meet in a seated position with a blanket underneath the hips, or if you would like to sit in um, this pose that I'm in right now, where I place the block underneath my sit bones or my butt, and I place my shins against my mat with my feet, tops of my feet on the floor, knees bent, nice little quad stretch to get the day started. I'll start there. This is week 11. Hard to believe it's been 11 weeks. We'll start with our meditation and breathing, and then we'll move into our very slow, very chill kind of work that we're going to be doing today. Our, our peak pose for the day is going to be our our Sphinx pose. Um, so we'll be working up to that a little bit. Um, and I'm going to add a little little fun in there for, for everyone as well. Uh, this class today will be geared towards um, the low back, the mid back, and the hamstrings. So we'll start by either closing the eyes or having a soft gaze. Palms can be face down or face up on the knees or wherever's comfortable for you. As you are settling into your position, whether it's seated, or kneeling, begin to bring awareness to the space that you're occupying, the space on your mat, noticing any noises that may arise for you during your practice. Just listening to any noises you may hear, but not naming them, just, just listening for them. And begin to Bring that awareness just a little farther outside of that space that you're that you can hear. And as you're bringing this awareness to your space, notice how your body is feeling in this moment. Where is your mind? 
wandering off to if it is wandering in any direction. And we'll bring our awareness into our body now. Noticing any tension, dropping the shoulders away from the ears, relaxing the jaw. lifting through the top of the head so you can see my hair tied up at the top almost like someone's pulling my hair up towards the ceiling chin is slightly tucked nice tall straight spine Bring your awareness into our breath. Noticing the rhythm of the breath. The natural rise and fall that you feel. And Begin to bring your awareness into the breath as it travels up through the nose, down the throat, into the chest, as it expands the lungs. And as you exhale, notice how the lungs deflate. breath travels back up the throat and out the nose. We'll take a nice big deep inhale all the way down through the belly, so drop in the belly. As you inhale, expand through the ribs all the way to the top of the chest. And slowly exhaling it back out through the chest through the ribs, and lastly through the belly. We'll do this one more time. We'll inhale all the way through the belly. Ribs, top of the chest, and slowly exhaling it back out through the top of the chest. The ribs and the belly. Take one deep breath all together. Sigh it out through the mouth. We'll do that one more time. Deep belly breath in. Sigh it back out through the mouth. Taking a moment here to set an intention for yourself for the next 50 minutes to an hour of our class. Maybe that's to just be here on your mat. Maybe it's to just be patient today. My example for today will be to be still and to be to slow down. Sometimes in these busy times, we can forget to just take a step back and take that hour to just take care of ourselves. If you're in that seated position, go ahead and switch legs. So if your right is crossed over the top of your left, go ahead and switch to over to the left on top of the right or vice versa. You want as you're switching, you can shake the legs out in front of you. Just want to make sure that we're giving love to both sides in our seated position. We'll be here for just a few more minutes. Uh, minutes excuse me. Now we're going to do something as we move into our practice that we haven't done yet, and. I think we all very much enjoyed together is 
right? Give ourselves a nice small face massage. So taking the palms of our hands, we're just gonna place our hands onto our face. Feel the warmth of the hands against the face. Taking a breath here. And then using the fingertips, We'll make our spoons with our hands, right? Our forks are when our fingers are out wide. Our spoons are when the fingers are closed and touching. We'll just take the fingertips and we'll massage out the forehead first. So starting at the front of the forehead, right in the center. Just massage it up and down, maybe making a T. So going out towards the sides of the temples. Maybe doing some circles when you get to the temples. <clears throat> we'll move down to under our eyes so gently almost like we're scooping out some guacamole out of a bag and our hands are the chips scooping the underneath the eyes massaging the cheekbones moving up towards the nose and we just rubbing the nose Massaging the chin, moving the hands to the back of the neck, finding our spine, so our cervical spine, that's our neck, right? So find that spine and then go out just a couple inches to the side of that spine on each side and just gently massage the neck muscles here. And dropping the hands back down. I'm gonna change my seated position. And we'll move into some neck stretches here. So dropping our right hand over towards the right. And we'll drop our left ear to left shoulder. Reaching through our right fingertips as we drop our left ear to left shoulder. Inhale, come back to center. Place the left fingertips now over towards the left of the mat. Take a nice deep inhale. And as you exhale, drop that right ear to right shoulder, extending through the left fingertips. Still sitting up nice and tall here. Maybe engaging the core. So pulling our core up and or in and up. Still remembering to breathe. Inhale back up to center. And then we'll just do some neck rotations here. So we'll drop our chin towards our chest. We'll inhale, left ear to left shoulder. And as we rotate towards the back of our spine, so our head's coming to our back, we'll start to exhale as we roll the shoulder over towards the right, so the, the head over towards the right, so right ear to right shoulder. Back to the middle, so chin comes to chest. We'll inhale, left ear, left shoulder. Head comes to the back, exhale, right ear, right shoulder. Chin comes to chest. Just go at your own pace here. And we'll switch sides. So inhale, right ear, right shoulder, back of the head. Exhale, left shoulder, left ear. Chin comes to chest. Do this a few more times at your own pace. And if you have any neck problems or any neck issues that you don't have a whole lot of movement, you can always just do a a yes and no to warm up the neck. 
taking our head back to center. We'll reach our right fingertips up towards the sky. And exhale, we'll lean over towards the left. Our left hand can come down to support ourselves. Stretching out the side body. Reaching long through the fingertips, feeling it stretch all the way through the ribs. Come back up to center, drop the right hand down towards the right of the mat. Inhale the left arm up towards the sky, bicep along the ear. Exhale, side body stretch. Reach towards the right with the left fingertips, almost like you're reaching all the way through your fingertips, stretching out the ribs here. And back to center, move on to our hands and knees. Come out of this nice seated position. <clears throat> so that nice tabletop position. If you're in the chair, you can stay in that chair. Whatever works for you. And just do a couple cat cows. Before we do that, we'll curl the toes actually. And we'll just Press into our hands and lift our knees just a little bit. Hover the knees just a little bit and lower those back down. Engage the core, press through the hands, lift those knees one more time and drop the knees back down towards the mat. Uncurl the toes, drop the belly, lift the gaze, lift the tailbone. Exhale, pull that belly in towards the spine, drop the chin to the chest, press through the hands, or cat. Inhale, drop the belly, lift the gaze, lift the tailbone. Press through the hands, tops of the feet. Exhale, pull the belly in towards the spine, pressing through the hands, chin to chest. Just do a couple rounds here at your own pace. Warming up our spine. Coming back to the center, we're gonna lower ourselves down to the floor onto our bellies. We're gonna engage our shoulders as we do it. So we're gonna drop down, almost like we're doing a push up, lower our lower body to our upper body down to the mat. Inhale, we're gonna press through the hands, tops of the feet, lift the chest, baby cobra. Exhale. Drop the chest. Inhale, baby cobra. Exhale, back down. Inhale, baby cobra, one more time. And as you exhale, have the elbows tucked in towards the body as you press the hands coming back into that tabletop. Exhale, lower down in child's pose. Inhale back up to center and tabletop. Exhale, lower yourself down towards the mat. Inhale, baby cobra. Elbows tucked in. Exhale, drop the chest. Press of the hands up in the tabletop. Lowering back down in the child's pose. So we'll inhale up to tabletop. Exhale, lower down. Inhale, baby cobra. Exhale, back down. Inhale, press up the tabletop. Exhale, child's pose. We'll do this three more times. So from here, go at your own pace. So I'll lead that first one. So inhale, come back up into tabletop. Exhale, lower back down. Nice push-up style position. Inhale, baby cobra. Elbows are tucked in. Exhale, drop the chest back down. Inhale, press of the hands. Drive up into the tabletop. 
Exhale, child's pose. We'll go at your own pace here. Just building up a little heat. And these are all muscle groups that we are using on Monday. I just want to, my goal for this class was just to get some blood pumping to those muscle groups, keep them still warm for next week, but not overdo it so we're sore moving into next week. Because sometimes it does take us a while. I noticed when I did 90s on salutations, um, I was I was pretty sore for a couple of days. So I'm going to allow some gentle classes this week. We'll hang out in child's pose when you're when you're finished. So in our child's pose, we're gonna be here for a couple minutes. So make any small adjustments you need. Maybe take the knees out wide, toes come together. And you press the hips down towards the feet. And when we're pressing down into our mat, we want to spread our fingers a little wide, not too wide where it's uncomfortable and then roll our wrist in, pressing into our thumb and our index finger on both sides. So we're equally distributing the weight onto our hands, not putting all the pressure onto the outside of the hands. This is too much for you to hold since this is still an active class. You can always come down to the elbows, drop the, the head towards the mat, but again, since this is an active class, I will challenge you to engage your shoulder blades, engage your the, the, the rotator cuff, slight bend in the elbows as you press the hips back, still engaging our, our muscle groups here, engaging the core just a little bit, so pulling that belly up towards our spine, and then dropping the head towards the mat. I'll leave you in silence for the next minute and I will bring you out when it's time for us to move into our next pose. Pressing through the tops of our feet, lift back up, coming into that tabletop. So if your knees are out wide, go ahead and slide those knees back in so the knees are underneath the hips. And we have when we're <clears throat> when we're in this nice tabletop, it's always good to just check and make sure that knee is underneath the hip, shoulders are underneath, or the wrist are underneath the shoulders. We'll just wag the dog tail here. We'll drop our hips one more time in a child's pose. Inhale, come back up. And as you exhale, lower that chest down towards the mat. We're going to move into Sphinx pose. So we'll have our elbows underneath our shoulders. If this is too much, 
uh, sensation in your low back. You can slide the elbows just a little bit farther forward here. <clears throat> but before we do that, we're gonna reach through our toes. So think long with your toes, so really reach through the back of the toes, still engaging the, the hamstrings and the quads, sliding those elbows underneath the shoulders here. And then almost like we're pulling our elbows back, leading with our chest, take a nice big deep inhale here. And then our head, we're not looking up, we're just kind of looking right in between the hands where the thumbs are. And again, if this is too much on the low back, you can always slide the elbows just a little farther forward. So reaching through the toes, engaging our glutes, our hamstrings, our quads. We're gonna engage our core still. Pulling the elbows back, leading with our chest. Drop the shoulders away from the ears. And just a good time and a good reminder that when we're here on our mat, that we're not, not worried about anything else, not thinking about the day. We're just, we're all just here together right now. Enjoying this time that we get to spend in our own bodies. Enjoying this time you get to spend in your body. Still reaching through the toes, engaging the core still. And if this becomes too much on the low back, again, you can always come out by stacking the hands. <clears throat> on top of one another and resting the head down onto the hands. If you're still up in that sphinx pose, go ahead and just slide the arms out in front of you like you're reaching long so really reach i ran out of room because i have a door here but really reaching through the fingers reaching through the toes almost like you're pulled apart by your hands and your feet forehead can drop down to the mat keep reaching keep reaching and let it go, slide the hands underneath the head, rest in the cheek on one side, hang out here for a second. Take a few deep breaths, inhaling all the way down to the belly, slowly exhaling it back out. Do this one more time. Inhale all the way through the belly. And exhale it back out through the nose. We'll slide our hands to the sides of our chest, right about nipple line. We'll pull the elbows in towards the body. From here, you can press up onto your knees um, into a tabletop, but we're going to be moving into a downward facing dog. If you want to, you can curl the toes, press into the hands, elbows still tucked in, come up onto the knees, and then press, still pressing through our hands, we'll press into our toes, lift our hips up towards the sky, pressing down through our hamstrings, down through our calves, downward facing dog. Here we can walk the feet. So just pedaling those feet out. So dropping one heel down to the mat while the other lifts. So if my left heel is coming down, my right heel is lifting up and then my right knee is bent. And then I'm just switching sides. So my right knee is now straight. Heel is down towards the mat. 
while my left is bent. You get the picture. <laughs> Just pedal the feet out, so pressing into the hands still, lifting the hips. Head is still nice and loose. Stillness. Doing our down dog. Again, making sure we're pressing into all knuckles, so rolling to our thumb and our index finger, really pressing into all four of our, or all five, excuse me, all five of our fingers. From here, we'll slowly walk the feet towards the hands, staying in this nice forward fold here. Knees can be bent. Arms can hang or they can grab the elbows. It's nice and loose. Just rocking from side to side. Slide in the arms, hang, head drops. Thrust through the feet as we slowly rise up. It's almost like we're stacking our spine back on top of one another, or those vertebrae. Slowly coming to a stand. Your head is still tucked. The last thing to stack is the head. Coming into this nice, secure mountain pose. Feet are underneath the hips. So that's about, again, two fifths with fist width apart. As I like to check just to see if in my body, I'm anatomically aligned with how I am made. <laughs> so palms can come forward. Nice and relaxed into the feet. A slight bend in the knees. Shoulders are dropped away from the ears, slim, chin is slightly tucked, and then we're reaching through the crown of our head. Eyes can be either closed or open, depending on your um, where you're at in your practice. Holding here for a second. And then we'll reach both arms up towards the sky. We'll grab our right wrist with our left hand. So pulling that right arm up towards just the sky, just a little higher. We'll inhale all together. And as you exhale, we'll slowly bend over towards the left. Nice big side body stretch here. Poking on that right hip just a little bit. Inhale, come back up the center. We'll switch. So our right hand is now grabbing our left wrist. Reach up high. And as you exhale, bending over towards the right. Kicking that left hip out just a little bit. Really nice side body stretch. Coming back up the center. Drop the hands down towards your side here. We'll reach those arms nice and high one more time. And exhale, we'll forward fold. So leading with our heart, slight bend in the knees, letting the arms hang. Still engaging through our legs. So really still engaging our, our leg muscles here. We'll inhale. Halfway lift, so slide the hands up onto the shins. Nice flat back here. We'll hold here and exhale, forward fold. Inhale, press through the feet. Slide bend the knees, arms come up overhead as you rise to stand. Exhale, forward fold, bend at the waist. Leading with the hearts. Hands come down towards the mat. Inhale, halfway lift, slide those hands up onto the shins. Flat back. Exhale, forward fold. 
Drop those hands down to the mat. We'll step the feet back. Instead of coming to plank, we're just gonna move right into that downward facing dog. So we're gonna lift our hips, press through our hamstrings, through our hips. Head's nice and loose. Still rolling on to our index finger and our thumbs. We'll drop the knees down towards the mat. Move into our almost cool down phase. We'll lower down towards the floor. Chest can be touching the floor now. And this is a fun variation I'd like to do just to stretch out the hips. So we're going to move into that sphinx pose again. So sliding the elbows underneath the shoulders. And here's that fun variation I was telling you all about. It's called a, um, a sphinx with a half frog pose. So we're going to stay in sphinx. And if you'd like, you can slide the left knee up. So it's a bent like a frog. So like a 90 degree angle. The knee is still in line with the hip. And the knee is also in line with the ankle with the toes still flexed towards the shin. And it's gonna feel like you're gonna to roll to one side, usually that right side since we're working on our left. <clears throat> so we wanna reach back with that right foot. So we're still engaging our low back. So pressing through the elbows and then pulling the elbows towards the body, leading with the chest. If this sensation does not feel good for you, you can always come out of Sphinx and you can just lay in the, the half frog pose. So you can just lay the head down if you have the sensations too much in the low back. We do a lot of forward folds um, in our sun salutation. So Sphinx poses are really good counter poses to strengthen up the back and give the low back a break <clears throat> from all of that forward bending. And like many of my veterans yoga project teachers, imagine your spine like a paperclip. When you've been to paperclip over and over and over again, it starts to heat up. And if you bend it enough, it can break. So we have to be super careful and make sure that we're doing proper counter poses to give that forward fold a break. Be here for just a little more minute. Still engaging our left leg here. So still toes are still flexed, pulling them towards the shin. Knee is still in line with the ankle as well as the hip. And I'll leave you in silence for the next 30 seconds with a gentle reminder to just fall in line with your breath, breathing deeply into the, the hip. So imagine that you're sending your breath all the way down into your hip. If you're up in that sphinx pose, Go ahead and drop the head down towards the mat. Let the arms rest here. And then all together, we'll gently slide our knee, leg back to meet that right. Just hang out here for a second. Take a few breaths. Moving on to the next side. So you can either 
<clears throat> I'm going to switch sides so you all can still see me. You can either first come up into this Sphinx pose before we move into our half rock pose. So if you're coming up in the Sphinx, go ahead and have those elbows underneath the shoulders, palms are flat. Now everybody can, wherever you are, we'll slide our right knee up, keeping our inner thigh against the floor. Knee can be in line with the hip. And then our knee is still in line with the ankle. Toes are flexed, reaching through our left toes here. Leading with our chest. The shoulders drop away from the ears. Breathing deeply, imagining you're sending your breath all the way into your hip and your low back. I'll remain silent for the next 30 seconds. As you feel any sensations, explore your own body for the next 30 seconds. you're up in that sphinx pose, go ahead and slide those fingers out. Nice and long, reach to the fingertips. Drop the forehead down to the mat or your cheek. And then we'll all slowly slide. The leg back to meet the left, reaching through both the fingers and the toes again. We'll roll onto our backs here. <clears throat> so feet are out long, arms are at their sides. Take a nice deep inhale all together. And on your exhale, pull the knees in towards the chest. Giving him a nice big squeeze here. Are you rocking back and forth, massaging up that low back? We'll have our knees at a 90 degree angle. Take a nice big deep inhale. As we exhale, drop our knees over towards the right. Reaching our left arm out long. Left shoulder blade still touching the mat here. Taking a few breaths. And each breath, again, imagine sending that breath down into the low back, into that spine. Inhale the knees back up to center. Give a nice big squeeze one more time. We'll stack those knees one more time. 
left arm or right arm, excuse me, comes out towards the right. As we exhale, we'll slowly drop our knees over towards the left. Right shoulder blade still engaged onto the ground. Taking a few breaths here, sending breath down into that spinal twist. Inhale the body back up to center. Exhale, squeeze the knees in towards the chest. Extend the legs out long. Legs are out long from here. We're going to shift our hips, just our hips, which we're gonna try and keep our upper body and our, and our legs where they are, just our hips. We're gonna move those hips over towards the right. So now your feet are just left of the hips and your shoulders again are left of that hip. Your right hip is over towards the right side of your mat. From here, you can do one of two things. You can reach the arms up above you and then Gently keeping that right hip down, engaged into the mat, we can slide our shoulders over towards the left. So keeping that right hip where it is, and then walk the feet out just a little bit towards the right. From here, you may be able to feel a nice stretch in the right hip, that right IT band, and really helps to engage the feet so i like to pull my toes towards my spine or my my shins and if you're looking to go a little deeper still engaging that right hip and towards the mat you can cross that right leg or that right ankle over the left Really good IT band stretch here. Oftentimes our, in our legs, our IT band gets ignored a little bit. I want to make sure that we're still stretching all sides of our bodies. And if it's too much to have your arms over the head, you can always bring the arms down to your side and still get that full effect in the IT band. And for those curious of what this pose is called, this is our banana pose. We're pretending that we're a little banana curled, a little curl in our bodies. Coming out of this pose, if your arms are overhead, go ahead and drop those arms down to your side. Uncross the, the ankles if they were crossed. And then gently walk the feet over towards the hips and then moving our shoulder blades back over towards the right. We're gonna switch sides. So from where you are, you can shift the hips over towards the left. Maybe you bend the knees a little. Shifting the hips over towards the left. Extending those legs out nice and long. Arms can come up overhead. Shoulder blades are still touching the mat. From here, you can just almost like you're shimmying your shoulders out towards the right and then walking the feet over towards the right. Still engaging that left hip. So rolling that left hip down into the mat. If you're looking to go a little deeper, this is where you can cross your ankles. flexing our feet, so pulling our toes in towards our shins. And you may notice that one side of the body is 
not stretching as deep as the other side and so their bodies are asymmetrical sometimes they they're they're a little off balance and one side is more loose than the other and just take note of that don't beat yourself up over it it's totally normal my right side is way worse than my left and i know this so i spend i give my left side a little bit more attention on my right side excuse me Taking some nice deep breaths here. Sending the breath all the way down into that IT band area. We'll uncross the ankles if the arms are overhead. Go ahead and lower those arms towards your side. Uncrossing the ankles. Shift the hips back into center. Bend our knees here. Feet flat on the mat. We'll just drop our knees from side to side. And that windshield wiper, the little knees drop over towards the left, not forcing anything, just the letting the knees drop where they, they want. And then we'll extend the legs out nice and long, arms down at our side, moving to our final pose, Shavasana. Here, the soles of the feet can also come together if you want more of that bound to ankle pose. If you do stay in this pose for Shavasana, I always encourage the use of blocks here because it is a lot of strain on those um, inner thighs and the, the, the groin area. Taking this time to make any small adjustments you need any shifts that you need to make in your body to get settled. I'm gonna come up into a seated position while you are in Shavasana. I'll guide you through a short body scan meditation. And I'll leave you in Shavasana until we close our practice. Bringing our awareness to start to our full body, taking a nice deep inhale, letting the air circulate through the entire body. Slowly let it back out through the nose. Do this one more time. Inhale all the way through the belly, letting the air circulate through the entire body. Slowly exhale it back to the nose. Bring our awareness now to the tops of our heads as we begin our body scan, relaxing the tops of the head. And relaxing our forehead. Relax our eyebrows, relaxing our eyes, relaxing the skin underneath the eyes and the nose, relaxing the cheeks, Relaxing the jaw and the tongue. Relaxing the jaw and the chin. Relaxing the throat. Relaxing the chest. Relaxing our shoulders. Relaxing our elbows.
relaxing our wrists. Relaxing our fingers. Relaxing our chest. Relaxing the belly. Relaxing the hips. Relaxing the upper thighs. Relaxing the knees. Relaxing the shins and the calves. Relaxing the ankles. Relaxing the feet. Relaxing the toes. Taking a deep breath here through the nose. Gently releasing it back through the nose. I'll leave you in Shavasana. I'll bring you back when it's time to close our practice. Gently begin to wiggle the fingers and the toes.
making any small movements that you need to wake your body up. Gently rolling to one side of your mat. Stacking the knees and placing one arm underneath the head for support. Using the opposite hand, gently pressing yourself up into a seated position. Keeping the eyes closed. You bring the palms <clears throat> together, thumbs at the center of our chest if you would like. Taking a moment here to give gratitude to yourself or someone that allowed you to be here on this wonderful night, wherever you are. Taking a moment to remember your intention that you set for yourself. A deep, do a deep breath together. So inhale through the nose, all the way through the belly, up through the ribs, top of the chest. Gently sighing it back out through the nose. Opening the eyes if they were closed. Bowing to one another out of respect and gratitude for those who are watching and those who are joining. That is the end of week 11's Monday night class. Um, this week's journal prompt will be <clears throat> something that challenges me that I like. Something that challenges me that I like. So, again, if the journal prompts are always there for you to just think about things that come up for you during your practice, you know, for me, something that's challenging that I enjoy is obviously yoga. Um, but it's always there if you if you want to, if you don't have to. You're just there just in case. Um, Thursday class will start at 6.30. Again, it'll be a very slow class, really focusing on those muscle groups that we're going to be using on Monday. Uh, if you have any questions, comments, concerns, please feel free to reach out to me or Alex on the Veterans Yoga Project team. I will see you all on Thursday.